Hi. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to make an object follow a path. Uh, the object is the cube, and I'm going to hide it so I can draw the path. So I come up to here, click the eye, and hide the cube. I then add curve path. I want to go into edit mode. You can toggle into edit mode by pressing the tab key. I'm going to select one of the points um, in the front view. I'm going to press G to grab. Move that over to there. Next point of the curve, G to grab. Move that there. Skip that one, move to the next point after that, G to grab. Bring that one down there. The final point of the curve, G to grab. That up there. There's the path I want the cube to follow. Come back up to here, bring the uh, cube back. The cube is selected. With the cube selected, I'm going to go to modifiers or constraints, even. Add constraint, follow path. Now, the main thing is to select which path to follow. I didn't name the curve, but there it is. And the cube jumps to the beginning of the curve. If I select follow curve, the cube will orientate itself to the curve. Next thing I need to do is select the curve. Uh, at this point, in older versions of uh, Blender, it would, if I pressed play, it would have followed the curve. But in the latest version, it doesn't. You have to insert keyframes. So how do you do that? Uh, select the curve. Now, that's the general properties of the curve and there's usually an extra button object data button with data specific to a curve and the properties we're particularly interested in are frames and evaluate evaluation time now I'm going to shorten the movie to 50 frames and uh, during the whole movie I want it to, to travel uh, along the path so I'm going to put the number of frames uh, for the path animation to 50 now the evaluation time is basically how far along the curve the object is okay I'm going to start to keyframe now um, my little rhyme for keyframing is go to the frame make the change insert the keyframe so I need to go to the frame and I want to go to the first frame frame 1 make the change I'm making it the evaluation time uh, is the change I'm going to make and it's where I want it to be at the moment so I'm going to insert the keyframe and I do that by right clicking insert keyframe and a keyframe has been inserted that's it's gone yellow okay I want to make a keyframe at the end so my little rhyme go to the frame make the change insert the keyframe so I need to go to the frame if I just click this button I go to frame 50 uh, make the change now I would normally just type 50 in here but if I type 30 press enter the cube has moved 30 frames out of 50 along the curve if I put 40 in it's moved 40 frames out of 50 four fifths of the way along the curve. Make the change, right click, insert the keyframe. I've now, now got two keyframes, so if I rewind and play, Blender interpolates between the two keyframes. Okay, let's have a quick look at the graph. I don't know if you notice as the cube is moving, it accelerates a bit at the beginning and decelerates at the end, which is trying to mimic normal motion okay so if I come to change the properties window to the graph editor window uh, open that up fully view all there's a typical little bit of acceleration little bit of deceleration at the end you can grab the handles and alter uh, the shape if you want to increase or decrease the acceleration or you can go to view oh, not view key and uh, the interpolation mode and make it linear and then there's no acceleration or deceleration it's constant 
velocity along the path. Okay, uh, that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can see this tutorial and many others at my website, freemovies.co.uk. Uh, there's a Blender channel there where I put all my stuff, plus I'll put the file there as well. Okay, thanks again for listening. Goodbye.